One more, please. Slide. Uh, so there are, uh, as I said, uh, different technologies, and also uh, hybridization of our engines uh, has different steps. And we will be able to, and we are actually uh, already in the market with uh, simple uh, start-stop functions, which are ideal for uh, in-city driving and for certain types of vehicles to full hybridization. Uh, with mild hybrids and brake uh, break energy recuperation and also two-mode hybrids which are fully uh, hybrid vehicles uh, which can run in line or parallel. Next, please. Uh, next uh, phase from hybridization, of course, is uh, full electric, intelligent electric uh, drive systems. And this has to do with either uh, fully rechargeable vehicles like the smart as i said we right now uh, we have a cooperation with the city of berlin uh, 100 uh, electric smarts uh, are running uh, in the city of berlin and the local electric company has established 500 uh, uh, recharging stations that can be used and also as of 2010 we will start with serial production of the fuel cell uh, b class this will be uh, of course, not a full-fledged uh, uh, production, but it will be serial production of the uh, fuel cell uh, B-class. speaker before me is that uh, these technologies, of course, cost money. And the legislators, of course, correctly, uh, have to protect the environment, and they have to do, take the right decisions for the future of all our, all, of our children. Uh, however, also they need to understand that these technologies cost substantially and to reach commercial viability there is, needs to be support from the governments to the people so they can make that technology uh, reachable to the everyday drivers and actually eventually achieve the benefits that we want. Next slide, please. Fuel cell technologies, uh, as I said before, is uh, uh, probably the most uh, significant technology of the future. And Mercedes-Benz has a significant uh, advantage in this field. We have already covered more than 3 million uh, kilometers on fuel cell vehicles. And uh, also we have uh, uh, fuel cell stacks that have outlived uh, 150,000 kilometers of use. So we believe that uh, Mercedes-Benz, uh, also running the largest fleet of uh, hybrid buses and fuel cell buses in the world, is at a position to bring uh, to commercial use this technology in the years to come in a very effective way. Next slide, please. Uh, of course, there are certain key technologies that uh, we need to have. Uh, energy storage uh, units, batteries basically. Uh, the current uh, technology as we know it is not good enough. Uh, lithium ion is the future. It has a lot of technical complexities, but uh, Mercedes-Benz is very well positioned. We have 25 uh, global patents on lithium-ion technology, and uh, we believe that this will allow us to be in a very competitive position in the marketplace. Turbocharging is something that has been uh, used in the past uh, very commonly for performance. Well, now it's one of the ideal uh, situations uh, and uh, methods with uh, engine downsizing to, to provide high performance from low capacity units. Fuel cell stacks. Very, very important if we're going to go ahead with fuel cell technology, reliability and performance of these uh, fuel cells. And of course, uh, fuels, modern fuels, uh, including hydrogen. Next slide, please. Take care of our time. Yes, we're finishing. <laughs> uh, Mercedes-Benz is uh, investing, uh, as you can imagine, uh, substantial amounts and by next year, and only in the recent years, uh, Mercedes-Benz will have invested over 20 billion in uh, R&D for the, this uh, new type of uh, technologies. Next slide. 
Next. So, uh, here in the slide we can only see a lot of the headings, but basically, uh, as I started my presentation, I said that uh, we believe that there is not only one way of dealing with the situation because the needs are completely diverse, whether it's uh, transportation of goods or transportation of families, whether it's in-city driving or medium distances or long distances. So a combination of solutions is available and uh, we need to, to get to that point uh, by harnessing all the known te technologies and future technologies. Next slide. Uh, we call it uh, the road to the future. And uh, we believe that uh, as the inventors of the automobile, we have an obligation uh, to present the best technological solutions, and we are committed to do that. Thank you very much. That's the